So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 15th React.js tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can save your tasks to the local storage so that you know you don't get every time the same task when you reload your page right so we, we are going to implement that using local storage and all modern browsers support that so that's not a problem now so what we're going to do is actually first of all we're going to query the local storage if there's any data available to it so that we can use that and if not then we'll just fall back to our task list so we can say that uh, our task is actually local storage dot get item uh, we can say stored task or something like that so if tasks that means there's something right there that means it exists then we're going to say task list is equal to json dot parse and tasks now what this is going to do is that in local storage you have to store everything as a string so local storage dot set item if you see its definition actually it's not it's kind of like key and value where value would be your string value right it cannot be anything else like an object or something local storage just about string for now so we're going to store our task as string and we're just going to get it by js1 parse right so our task list is js1 parse and that would be good you can just convert it into one liner as well i'm just preferring readability right now so okay looks good so on the first run obviously this is not gonna run because this returns undefined or empty or whatever so we're gonna fall back to task one two and three now what we are gonna do is actually when we update these tasks when we change the state we want to update the local storage so we can essentially call update local storage here and uh, here as well and we can just create update local storage uh, we can say that uh, or actually we can just pass in this object as well why do we need to just query the state again right that makes sense so we can just say local storage dot set item and obviously local storage would be available for react as well um, what is our key store tasks and i want to json.parse this array updated tasks right and there we go now uh, we can just say console log saved the tasks right there and uh, we are all ready to do so if i like add bring milk hit enter <laughs> and we get an error update local storage is not defined because we are missing this with this right and there we go bring milk okay unexpected token t in just one position zero not a problem we can see what we have in here we see task one task two task three Oh no 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 it's json.stringify sorry it should not be json.parse enter you can see that we get nothing updated task yeah okay uh, task updated something like that right and now if I reload you can see our list is pretty much still the same if I remove some tasks reload our list is still the same <clears throat> so that's pretty much how you create a basic app and what i'm thinking is that it might be good that the tasks are actually added at the top instead of going to bottom so what we can do instead is instead of push we can say this is unshift as far as i remember uh, now if i add a task you can see that our tasks are added at the top instead of bottom and uh, yeah that's all for this one and that's how you pretty much create a very basic react.js app now i know this is just a skeleton app no css nothing styling and you cannot take this live but you know you can just make use of bootstrap i want to keep the code as clear as as minimal as possible so that it just works 
fine and uh, you're able to see what is happening so I'm just gonna put this code in uh, um, I don't know on my form or something so that you can just copy it and try it out or you know you can just copy this code and just use some bootstrap and all that stuff and post a link of link of fiddle in the description so that you know I will just make this on my available on my form as well so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one